Hello friends, you know what time it is. It is cafecito time. Just kidding. Hi everyone, this is Veronica. Welcome to my channel, House of Sid, where we make um, videos about coffee reviews, coffee recipes, coffee adventures and everything from the wonderful world of coffee. And I just wanted to introduce you to my new little friend. I don't know if he has a name, but he's a little bear Easter. Get it, bear from Starbucks. Yes, Starbucks. Um, and these were um, merchandise you could purchase at Starbucks in Mexico, only in the country of Mexico. I love Starbucks, but sometimes the merch from other countries is like so cute. And a friend um, was traveling and she was able to get it for me. And thank you, thank you so much, I appreciate it. It is adorable and it's just a little stopper for your coffee. Hola, cafecito time. Okay, let's get started on the video. So like I said, it's cafecito time. Welcome to my channel, everyone. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're returning, welcome back and make sure you're subscribed for all the wonderful videos about coffee. Well, at least I'm hoping they're wonderful. Anyways, guys, today I wanna make a video I wanted to, um, I know I showed this in my haul, if you watch any of my previous videos, I showed these two new coffees from Nespresso Newish. And these are the XL coffees, and there's two of them. So I did try the larger ounce coffees back when I first got my Nespresso um, in 2020. Um, early 2020, the sample had them. I bought some, they were great. You get 12 ounces of coffee instead of just the normal, um, what is it, eight, 7.75 ounces. 7.77 ounces, which is just a tick, under eight ounces, which is, you know, a good cup of coffee, but if you're a coffee lover and if you need coffee in the mornings, especially when you're going to work, you need more. I need more coffee than just the eight ounces. And then the crema, no, no, no. So I'm glad that Nespresso has brought back the new extra large coffees. And these are, I will read it to you. Um, so they're called Virtual XL Coffees. And I don't know if you remember, if you watch my video, or if you don't know, these extra large coffee capsules will only work on your Virtual Next Machine. They will not work on my little First Love Nespresso Virtual Plus. It's not gonna work on that one. I know, bummer, sucks. So if you wanna try these, you're gonna need the newer machines, which is kind of one of the reasons why I wanted this little cutie, which we still have a name. Maybe I'm gonna make a poll. What do you guys think? Should I make a poll in my community? I'm gonna do it. Anyways, so it only works on the next machine. So if you have the bigger, older next machines, it'll work. If you have this new one, if you have the virtual Cretista, the new fancy Chrome one, it'll work. So it'll work on the newer machines, not the older machines. But anyways, here it is. It is the Alto, um, um, the Alto Umbrado Honeyed and Delicate is what they're calling it. And this is an intensity four. And it's 150 per capsule because you're getting more coffee. And the only bummer thing that I kind of did not like is I think you only get seven capsules. Yeah, that's that's not cool. So um, 12 ounces. Arabica Robusta coffees give rich warmth to their light roast large cup. So this is the lighter roast. Toasted cereal sweet caramel notes balanced by a fruity touch. So this one is called the Umbarato. Let's open it up, just a black box. Okay, so I will show you the difference. Here is the capsule, the XL, so it's quite taller. Um, and here it says 355 milliliters or 12 ounces. 
and this is a regular 7.7 .7 ounce um, capsule. So big, big difference, okay? So this is the light roast. Now let me show you the other one. So they have two varieties, which is good because I think they only had one before. I don't remember. It's been it's been a minute since I got my Nespresso. Okay, this one is a little bit more bold. Um, Alto Onis, Onice, O N I C E. It's Italian, obviously. I don't know. Roasted and woody, intensity seven. So it's a little bit bolder, stronger. Complex blend of several origins through its Indian beans. Um, Cocoa and spice notes comes the Colombian Arabica shimmer of acidity in a larger cup. Okay, so this one is a little bit more sit, bitter, bolder. And this is the box again, just black. And this is the color of the capsule. So this is the Onis, Onice. So there you go. These are the two new extra large coffees. Let's give them a taste and see which one is better. Have you tried these yet? If you have, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I think it's been maybe two months or so that they've been out. Um, not that long, uh, but I haven't had a chance to test them, to try them. So we're gonna do it today. Okay, so I'm going to put these out here. My machine is on and I don't have very large I mean I have large cups like you know the ones I use for work like this is a 16 ounce and when I do the eight the 7.7 .7 ounces it's like barely fills it up so I definitely need um you know more coffee um so I'm gonna do these are actually 12 ounces of coffee 12 ounces so hopefully it's not going to overflow and spill, which I think it is, but that's okay. Let's give it a try. And like I showed you guys, these don't fit here the last time. So I have to remove the little drip tray and put this over a little bit over. Okay, so let's try the light one first or lighter blend, Umbarato. And let's see. Okay, oh, yep. Yeah. So I'm assuming, I'll have to try it out, but I'm assuming that because this is larger, it doesn't quite fit all the way down in the plus, virtual plus. So like I said, make sure you're subscribed to my channel because I've mentioned it before. I haven't been mentioning it a lot, but once we get to five, 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 five thousand subscribers, I will do a giveaway for another machine. I gave away an espresso. Um, original machine when I hit a thousand subbies. Yay! So now at, um, or was it 2000? No, 2000. It was 2000. <laughs> you guys, there's a lot going on. But anyways, so um, when we hit 5,000 subscribers, I will do a giveaway and most likely it'll be one of these cute little virtual uh, pop machines because they're so cute. The colors are small and everyone wants one, right? Okay. So let's see. Toasted cereal and sweet caramel notes. It says ingredients, roasted and ground coffee, decaffeinated roast and ground coffee. Oh, is this a decaf? It doesn't say it's a decaf, but it might have some decaf coffee. I don't know, I'm a little confused now. What's going on here? Uh, Ingredients, roast and cough, roast and ground coffee, decaffeinated roast and ground coffee. That's what it says on the website. I don't know. So it says the glow of Alto Umbarado is it's honeyed cereal toasted notes. I'm reading from the iPad because I can't find my reading glasses. Honeyed cereal and toasted notes and caramel sweetness, fruity touch sparkles through this lightly roasted blend of fine Latin American Arabicas Robusta. At home or on the go, it's your larger cup, warm and rich golden aromatics. Okay, you guys, did you guys see that? So it just barely 
hit in this cup. So crema is actually not that much. So this is the Umberato, the lighter blend. Look at, not that much crema. Smells good. I like to always just give it a little mix before I try it. Whoa, it's hot. Okay. So this is Honey Cereal Toasted Notes. Okay. I, is it kind of giving me Melosio vibes? Hmm. Okay, not bad. It is a little, I don't want to say, is it a little on the bitter side? Bitterness is only a two. Body is a three. So, although it's only intensity four, it's actually not that light in not as light as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's pour a little bit of milk. Just a little bit of half and half. And let's give it a try. Because I know some coffees change dramatically when you add creamer and milk or, you know, stuff like that. Okay, much better. So I didn't dislike it black, but I think the milk kind of helps with those um, notes. Okay, not bad at all. I definitely love the size. Um, so when you add milk, you know, you definitely need a bigger mug, tumbler. Okay, so this is the Umberato Lighter Blend. I forgot my cup, let me go get my cup. Here's my other cup that a lovely, beautiful, um, subscribers sent to me my first year of YouTube. Thank you so much. You know who you are. I love these, love these cups. Okay, so now we are going to try the, I don't know, I, I have a weird, funny feeling that I might like this one better, the uh, Onis, Onis. If you know how to pronounce it, let me know. Okay. So I know that some people say this is kind of hard to open and close. It does take a little bit more like force. So they have to be a little bit stronger, but I don't know. There's a weirdly satisfying um, feeling when you like push it down and you hear the pop of the capsule. So let me, let me keep uh, drinking this one. Darker one. Okay, look at that. You guys, look at how much crema that's doing. So hopefully this one is not gonna spill. I have my paper towel ready to go. Oh yeah, that's gonna spill. Okay, it's almost done. Okay, well I think I ran out of water. So that was probably, that was probably the problem. Let's get more water. Um, the one thing about these little virtual machines is that they hold less water in the tank. So I think uh, when it's, it wasn't fully full to the top, but full to the top will probably be just enough for two Alto um, extra large coffees. Let's continue. So if I do make these to go to work, I would use like my tumbler and this one would fit under here. Um, it didn't even fit here in the virtual plus. Um, I, I would have to make it in a regular cup and then Pour it over. So having it on this little um, stand, this little um, drawer, actually is very useful and helpful. So this one is definitely making way, way more foam, more crema. 
see if I hadn't spilled some of it out, it would have told the overflow, overflowed and made a big old mess. Okay, so um, this one is the Roasted and Woody Intensity, Intensity 7, so it's going to be a little bolder. Oh, I like it. I, I, I kind of already had a feeling like I just knew that this one was going to be better. This one is not, not bad. It's, it's good, but I think for me, this one's the winner. So yeah, I like this one. Okay, I'm going to add some half and half. You just love the way that looks, the way when the milk kind of just swirls in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is the one. This one's the winner. Okay. So, my opinion, like I said, this is just my opinion. Um, Alto Unis, even though it's a bolder seven intensity it's still not super duper like strong like it won't punch you in the face like some of the other ones but i think it's just like a little bit deeper like it said it has like those woody notes it's it's really good you guys this one this one's the winner for me i like it i am definitely going to be buying more of this um for work in the mornings or just on the weekends. You just need more coffee. You're sitting around, you know, watching YouTube videos, watching uh, House of Sid videos or any other videos or just, you know, lounging around, reading a book or what have you. Hmm. This is the winner. So Alto and Barato is good. It's just a little bit on the more mild side, a little bit less, um, Yeah, a little bit more mild, smoother. I don't wanna say it doesn't have good flavor, it does. I just think for me in the morning, like I said, I'm gonna use these for when I go to work. This is a ticket, this is gonna wake me up, this is gonna get me ready to go to work and get me ready in the morning. So there it is, um, Alto Coffees, XL Coffees for Virtual. Which one's your favorite? Let me know. Um, Alta Onis is going to do it for me. The Alta Onis is going to be... The Alta Onis is going to be the winner for me. Alto Umbarado. It's good, but I don't know. It's just, it's just you know, missing a little something. I probably would add like a syrup or a flavor. But yeah. That's it. These are the two XL coffees. Have you tried them? Are you interested in trying them? Is this like too much coffee for you? Because I was used to drinking Starbucks Grande Ventis, which is 16 ounces. Um, even the tall is 12 ounces. So this, this would be like a Starbucks tall size. So when I first started drinking Nespresso, uh, the 7.78 ounces eight ounces just was not quite enough for me so let me know what you think as always you guys hope you are enjoying these videos give us a thumbs up help our videos and our channel grow subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i hope you're enjoying our cafecito time we'll see you next time and yeah let me know in the comments what you think of these new alto coffees